वेलकम टू श्री शाह किचन द टेस्ट ऑफ हेवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू मेक आलू ब्रेड बोंडा दिस इज एन अमेजिंग स्नैक दैट कुड बी डन इन फाइव मिनट्स एंड वेरी इजीली सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू स्विच ऑन दी स्टव एंड कीप द फ्लेम एट लो आफ्टर दैट इज डन प्लेस अ पैन एंड देन एड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ ऑयल So once the oil has become hot I'm going to add in 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds you can look the mustard seeds starts to burst in the oil when that's happening I'm, I've took one medium sized onion that I've chopped nicely which I'm going to add in now so let's saute it just for a few minutes and after it sorted nicely i'm going to add 1 teaspoon of chili powder friends uh, you can always adjust it according to your taste now let's mix it nicely so once the chili powder has been mixed nicely with the onion i've took four medium sized potatoes that i have boiled and removed the skin and i have mashed them with my hands so now let's add them inside friends while you are adding the potatoes make sure you switch off the stove and then add in the potatoes because we don't want the potatoes to cook as they have already been boiled so now let's mix the potatoes nicely with the onion and the chili powder So once you have mixed it nicely you can go ahead and add a little bit of salt according to your taste and after that 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder and to just top it up i have chopped a few coriander leaves that i'm going to add in now after that let's give it one last mix mix all the ingredients together nicely and that's it our stuffing is easily and amazingly ready so now let's see how to make the bonda all that you need is that few slices of milk bread the stuffing we made little bit of water and then a plate so now take one of the milk bread dip it nicely in the water in both the sides and the edges now place the bread in between both of your palms and squeeze or press most of the water out this is a crucial step otherwise your bread will become too soggy and you can't fold it nicely and make sure to press the edges also After that you can place our potato filling on top of the bread just going to put it in one side and then take the one edge of the bread and the other one and just roll it like this and friends close the top part and the bottom part and if you want you can apply little bit of water to do this step so take the bread dip it in water nicely and then squeeze squeeze out all the excess water nicely and then put in our filling in the edge in the corner and then start rolling up like this so friends uh, some of you if you find it difficult you can take off the crust that is the edges of the bread but the edges of the bread makes it even more crispier and gives it rigidness and that's it our bonda is ready to be fried so once your oil is hot you can put in our bread bonda and wait until both the sides are nice golden brown in color so now let's flip it and then wait for some time So friends make sure your flame is at low while frying these bondas and now when both the side is nicely fried like this our bonda is ready friends it was so easy to make right and it is very tasty too i'm going to go ahead and fry more of them now let's flip them and after that take them that's it it's that simple 
friends this it could be done just in 5 minutes whenever you want a snack you could just make this because all these ingredients are readily available at our homes and you can also do it in a ball shape or any shape of your desire and friends even the filling is your choice you can make it the way you like it maybe add some capsicum or etc it's all your choice you should definitely try this out cause this is one of my favorite dishes my mom used to give me to school so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel love you guys bye bye